Building a college football program from scratch is an enormous challenge. It requires a serious commitment from the players, the coaching staff, and the school itself. In 2008, the BSC Panthers made incredible strides in reaching the ultimate goal of a conference championship. Playing in only its second season since 1939, the Panthers dazzled fans and foes alike. With a team consisting of mostly sophomores and freshmen, head coach Eddie Garfinkel and his stellar staff of assistants were up to the task as the team played well above everyone's expectations. It was a season where new stars emerged. Hard work paid off. And a tradition was reborn. Birmingham Southern has always been committed to providing its students a high-quality academic experience that prepares them for the future. The school is rated the number one academic institution in the state of Alabama. That same commitment to academic success has carried over to the athletic department. The college demonstrated its dedication to the football program with the unveiling of the new Panther Stadium that features a sprint turf playing surface and a regulation eight-lane track Inside the stadium's adjoining field house, you'll discover state-of-the-art facilities not normally associated with the Division III program. A weight room with the latest workout equipment, spacious locker rooms, and a first-class training room to ensure the players a quality football environment. To build a winning football tradition, you need a good field general. And the Panthers have a great one in all-conference quarterback Joe Thigpen. Some quarterbacks throw well, others run well. The sophomore hailing from Crestview, Florida, does both extremely well. However, a quarterback cannot succeed if he doesn't have a good core of receivers. Speedy Tay Walker had a number of big plays, including a 53-yard touchdown gem against LaGrange that earned him an all-conference honorable mention. Talented freshman Eric Nordgren was on the receiving end of the biggest pass play of the year, an 80-yard touchdown bomb against LaPaul. Throwing that 80-yard strike was all-conference running back David Langston. The sophomore from Hope, Florida, was also on the receiving end of many passes and ate up real estate on the ground. The main cog in the Panther ground game is sophomore Walter Arrington. Leading the team in both rushing and scoring helped make Arrington a first-team all-conference selection. A big turning point in the Panther season came when they traveled to play Colorado College. The team overcame a 10-point second-quarter deficit, outscoring the Tigers 17-0 in the second half and route to a 31-17 victory. Leading the way was a solid offensive line featuring all-conference teamer Jonathan Jones and the two-prong running attack of Arrington and Langston. Both players ran for over 100 yards with Arrington scoring three touchdowns. Langston provided the year's biggest running play when he broke through for an 80-yard touchdown in the third quarter. But the Panther offense only told half the story. The defense played a major role in making the team competitive throughout the season. The unit was led by all-conference first-team selection Jeremy Jones. The sophomore defensive end from Loganville, Georgia, racked up 43 tackles and five sacks. Additional help came from the team's leading tackler, David Kelly, the linebacker who made the all-conference second team. Defensive lineman John Bailey also had five sacks and was never far away from the action, while lineman Bobby Gray was another all-conference choice. In the secondary, Micah Baker had a team leading four interceptions. Sophomore Trey Strain had a solid year, finishing fourth on the team in tackles. And Brad Stockdale was not only named All-Conference, the sophomore was also tabbed for the league's All-Sportsmanship team. The defensive unit really shined in a late-season battle against fourth-ranked Millsaps College. 
The team forced the undefeated majors to turn the ball over seven times in a contest that wasn't decided until the fourth quarter. It was a huge improvement for the Panthers, who were greatly humbled by Millsaps the previous season. The play of the game for BSC was David Langston's spectacular 84-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Langston's return was just one of the highlights of the Panthers' special teams. Kicker Raymond Joseph connected on five attempts. And punter Drew Jackson was another one of the Panthers' all-conference selections. In early November, a festive homecoming spirit was in the air as Birmingham Southern introduced fans to the beautiful new Panther Stadium. An incredible capacity crowd was on hand to witness the first game on the hilltop in nearly 70 years. And the Panthers did not disappoint. In their finest effort of the season, the Panthers dominated Sewanee in every aspect of the game. The offense piled up over 500 total yards, while the defense held Sewanee scoreless throughout. Joe Thigpen was named SCAC Player of the Week as he ran for three touchdowns and passed for a four. He hit Deion Watts for a 69-yard touchdown. David Langston had two spectacular TDs himself, including a 44-yard punt return. The 49-0 victory over Sewanee was the perfect way for the Panthers to open their new stadium and point the way to a bright future. Building a new, successful football program demands commitment. Panther football is well on the road to success because of the commitment of the players, coaches, and the entire college community. Panther football, an explosive offense led by an all-conference quarterback, a tough defense built to make big plays, and an impressive new stadium built for fans yearning for a championship. Birmingham Southern Football, a traditional reborn.